Floating cities aren't about building boats. They're about transplanting the complexity of urban infrastructure onto a dynamic, unforgiving liquid foundation. The first engineering pillar is the platform. Think not of a single hull, but of a massive, modular grid of interconnected reinforced concrete or composite pontoons. These modules are like giant, watertight Lego blocks, creating a stable, flexible base. Their design is a constant battle against hydrostatic and hydrodynamic forces. Engineers run complex simulations to model wave slap, tidal surge, and resonant motion to ensure comfort and safety. Pro tip from marine engineers. The connection between modules is the most critical detail. It must allow for controlled flexibility to absorb energy while maintaining a perfect seal and structural integrity, often using advanced rubber or hydraulic dampers. Next, mooring. You can't anchor a city with simple chains. A system of taut synthetic fiber ropes connected to seabed anchors or adjustable tension legs allows controlled movement while preventing drift. The design must account for a 100-year storm event. But the real genius is in the utilities. How do you manage fresh water, sewage, and power for thousands? The answer is closed-loop systems, desalination plants, blackwater treatment with nutrient recovery, and integrated solar, wind, and wave energy generation turn the challenge into an opportunity for radical sustainability. Waste heat from systems can even be used for aquaculture beneath the platforms. Structural connections for all these pipes and conduits must withstand constant flexing without failure. Every material is chosen for its fight against saltwater corrosion, using specialized coatings, cathodic protection, and marine-grade alloys.